He's running for president, and wouldn't you know it, he's a national star, the kind of companion millions of admirers would love to have. All this, and he hardly talks. Who is this exceptional character? Why, Morris the Cat, of course, and Julie's got his attention. Actually, I'm not so sure if I have Morris's attention. He seems to be looking at the cameras most of the time and wagging its tail, if cats wag their tails, too. Yeah. Quiet, though. We're here with Dr. Laura Paston, Morris's <laughs> vet, Bob Hardwick, Morris's handler, and we're going to talk about cat care because it is a special month. Right. September is National Cat Health Month, sponsored by the American Veterinary Medical Association, and of course, Morris is our spokes cat. Well, Morris is a spokes cat for cats across the nation. We all know they like certain things to eat and they like to be handled certain ways. Let's find out a little bit about Morris first. How'd you find Morris? In a humane society. So, you don't have to be a pedigreed cat no. to be a great cat. No, Morris is an alley cat. When you picked up Morris, did you know that uh, Morris would reach all his fame and your fortune? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I just had a cat I needed for a photography job, and I called him Lucky. Lucky for him and lucky for me. That's right. Let's take a close. Can you take a close-up of Morris? Well, Morris, you don't get too terribly excited about too terribly much, do you? Yeah. Very quiet. How did you know that Morris was going to be a star? When did it first hit you? Huh? Well, after the first commercial, we started getting mail, and uh, it, it was almost... Morris auditioned for a com yeah. commercial, of course. Oh, too much. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like the sale handle. <laughs> yeah. that, well, that's the only end I got. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Morris looks very healthy. He is healthy. Yeah. Very strong cat. Weighs about 14 pounds. So what do you do to make sure that your cat is going to be a healthy, happy cat? Well, you be sure and take them to the veterinarian uh -huh. annually. Get those vaccines. Get those checkups. Remember to get the leukemia vaccines. That's the number one killer of cats. Remember the rabies vaccines. Leukemia, isn't that something that you should be able to find in a cat, and is it treatable? Right. It, it is um, preventable, and it is diagnosed. Uh, you can diagnose it uh, by doing the blood test, but no, it isn't treatable. No. If you can catch it early or you can prevent it, how do you prevent it? Just by getting the shots? You prevent it by getting the shots, and if they come down with it, there's uh, medicine we can give that will slow down the course. Hey, Johnny, travel arrangements to the beautiful beaches of Florida for today's first runner-up made through Eastern Airlines. You'll be flying to the vacation of a lifetime with Eastern. At Eastern, we earn our wings every day. And enjoy the luxurious breakers of Fort Walton Beach along Florida's famed Emerald Coast. Fishing, tennis, and sugar-white beaches are yours at this vacation paradise. For today's third-place contestant, the Brother AX-12 electronic Daisy Wheel typewriter features a 40-character lift-off correction memory, automatic relocation key, dual-pitch typing, and full size 12 inch carriage and now let's and you can get them to do just about any are you assured if you really take care of your cat that they'll have such an even temper no definitely not all cats are different just like we are well do you all have... dispositions are different when you're training a cat can you train them to be calm cool collected you can work on cat? it you find a good steady cat to start with and then socialize them a lot how do you socialize a cat the exposure good handling yeah yeah and uh I think of socializing a cat, dressing them up. And no, no, not this. no, he's, no, a, he's already dressed. No. I was doing a little bit of reading, and it said that people who own dogs, the majority of people who own dogs, take them to veterinarians. The majority of people who own cats don't think of taking them to the vet. Is it because cats really are, are pretty self-sufficient? That's why a lot of people have cats in the first place instead of other animals, because they, they're good at taking care of themselves. They are good. There's this feline mystique that cats can take care of themselves. Now cats are the number one pet. There's 56 million pet cats out there, 52 million pet dogs, and only 47% of the people are taking their cats to the veterinarian regularly as they should. And so, yes, we need to get rid of that myth that they can take care of themselves. Get the message out there. You must take your cats to the veterinarian. Have the veterinarian find those problems. And there is a free booklet that we can uh, have you get. And the free booklet, it will tell you when to take a cat to a veterinarian, why to take a cat to a veterinarian, what symptoms you can look for to tell you their cat is sick. And if you want this free booklet, write to the Morris Prescription, P.O. Box 8159, Lake Forest, Illinois, 606 Four, five. And in this booklet at the very back, you can send in a coupon and get a free potograph picture of Morris. Wow, with, yes. his, with his paw print on it. Yeah. Morris, it's been a pleasure. I just wish you would have said a little more. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, both of you, for stopping by. Thank you. Don? Thank you, Julie. Coming up, 